Roberto Lopez in second place. It would be his career first podium. He's had some big opportunities. Who can forget the tears in Jerez last year when he thought he was on the podium and then was busted post-race for exceeding the track limit, dropped back down a fourth spot. Here we are then into turn 12, and true and brilliantly so from Arenas, but he's won. Contact, contact there between Mino and Ramirez, and you can see Ramirez, he got a little, pushed out a little wide, tried to get our defensive attacking riding at the same time from Tober. You have to feel that some of the more experienced riders might prevail at the end of this. It's going to come down to the last lap tactics, isn't it? But you want to be well placed before that. You can't really afford to be any further down than seventh or eighth. Well, Toba's been here before. Arbelino, he flew off the line. Not so for Lorenzo Della Porta. Arbelino's miles ahead into turn one. What a start. What a dream launch off the line then by the Paul Mantoni Arbelino. Fernandez was able to sweep on through on Lorenzo Della Porta. Suzaki started fourth. He's in fourth place. Della Porta, though, tried to fight back through Magnuson Beckett. That's brave, and he's already struck back on Fernandez. Brave and aggressive, but he's slightly. There's Tony Arbelino up ahead of him. We're now about to start the long climb uphill towards the finish line. Connect still lead up the inside there though aggressive from Della Porta great move has the Honda got the legs on the KTM up horsepower hill or has connect to Arbelino he got him way way too hot going into Corantayo his heart was in his mouth there Della Porta he was so so close to t-boning Tony Arbelino that was really really tight Getting a little bit erratic on this lap is lap de la Porta, which is not a word that you tend Whoa, to associate with him. What Power a move! Earth. What a move from de la Porta into Bacini. Overtake of the century. He uh, was fifth going into Bacini up the inside.